So, you've been buying your wine from supermarkets, but you sometimes see really cool looking bottles in cafes and places that sell sourdough. What is it all about? Well, today I'm going to tell you exactly how to get into natural wine. So there's no strict definition on natural wine, but I'm going to tell you what constitutes a natural wine in my book. Hand harvested grapes from vineyards that haven't had loads of chemicals. Organic, biodynamic, it doesn't really matter as long as the vineyards haven't been totally obliterated by chemicals. We're going to get people going down there and cutting off individual bunches of grapes and putting them in buckets. So it's a little bit more handmade, a bit less industrialised. There's not lots of heavy machinery. Spontaneous fermentation, so no packets of yeast. We're not going to be filtering or fining the wines or adding anything to it, like boosting the acidity or boosting the sugar or adding packets of stuff, none of that. We don't want to see lots of oak flavours, so we want to use neutral vessels. A lot of growers will add a little bit of sulphur at the end just to make sure all the bacteria and the microbes are just kept in check and the wine is going to be stable and reliable, but not too much because sulphur does mute the flavours and strip it of its character. The less sulphur is in a bottle of wine, the more alive, the more expressive it is, but also it's a little bit risky. So if you do get a really dodgy bottle of natural wine, don't just think, oh, that's the style. I would definitely ask me or ask the place where you bought it. And just like with a corked wine, I would try and get that sent back because it's not going to be that pleasant to drink, is it? Fucking pig shit and vigor and all that. Because natural wine should be clean, it should be precise, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be wild. It shouldn't be like drinking vinegar. I would say 99% of natural wines are stable, clean, precise, and, and they taste alive. They just taste better. Next time on the Geordie Wine Guide. I've got the Natty Wine Starter Pack here. That's what you want to be drinking. I know what I like. I like fucking Pinot Grigio. We're just trying to get away from these big, heavily industrialised wines. <laughs>